In this video, we're going to show you how to merge data from one cell to another in Excel automatically. Most people do it manually, but we've got a quick way to do it so it's easy and gets the information you need into the same cell from two separate cells. All right, let's get started. Our first step is to make sure you have the Macro Recorder software downloaded on your computer. I'm using the version 2069F. F stands for free. And when I do the recording, you're gonna see here all the different movements that I'm making. Mouse clicks, wait times, mouse moves, and anything I type on the keyboard. Over here, we have an Excel spreadsheet. And the goal of this is to change each of these email addresses into a unique email address. So I wanna transfer the number here over here. So instead of having all testing number 100, I wanna have testing 100 through, in this case, 549. I'll show you how that's done. And this can be used to do basically anything, merging information from one column in Excel to another. In order to do this, all we have to do is start by hitting record. We want a new recording, so we're not gonna save the old one. And our first movement is gonna to be to click into the window that we're going to. So I'm gonna click here. You'll see here it shows as a window change, which means I'm now in the Excel window. I'm gonna click here, but before I do anything, I wanna make sure that my location is where I'm going to start and stop each time. And right now, it's over here. So I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna go to here. I'm gonna hit escape, which is gonna stop the recording. I'm then gonna come up with a new one, and I'm gonna start over. A huge thing to keep in mind, you always wanna make sure that you put your mouse cursor, or in this case, your cell, in the place that you wanna start at the end of each loop. So I wanna start here, and then I'll go ahead. So I, I click into Excel, click here, copy the text, I'm gonna hit enter, I'm gonna move it back, I'm gonna delete it, paste, I'm gonna enter, and then I'm gonna return it to where I wanna start in the next loop, which is here at 102. And then I'm gonna click here, and I'm gonna hit escape. Escape stops the recording. I'm gonna take a quick look at this to make sure it looks right. And there are two different ways you can clear out the window changes. One by hitting focus changes, or another by doing it manually. I have a base loop, so I'm gonna do it manually. And you also wanna make sure that the mouse clicks are recorded correctly. In my experience, it's best to have it as a click, not bus, mount, mouse button down. So I'm gonna double click that and change it to click. I'm gonna look for any more button downs. I don't see any. And we're gonna do a quick test run to make sure it runs right. I'm gonna set the speed to 500. Let's see what it looks like. Now this is the same loop that I just did, but at 500 speed. Okay, there you have it. So you know it works. But now we need to be able to do it 500 times in this case. So I'm gonna add a label to the start point and to the end point, just so I know in case I wanna go back and make any changes. And with the free version, you're allowed to do 10 repeats. So if I wanna do 500, then I wanna do 50. But in this case, for the video, I'm just gonna do 10. I'm gonna control Hit Control A, select everything here. I'm gonna hit Control C and copy it. And then I'm gonna paste it. So what I'm doing is duplicating the base loop. So now I have two of them. Start and start. I'm then gonna paste it again. So I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And you can see here, I have 56 actions selected which is the total in the base that I started with. And I did it 10 times, so there are a total of 560 in this macro loop. I'm now gonna set the playback speed to 1,000, so you can see just how quickly it works. 
thousand is the max. I have it set on 10. I'm gonna double check to make sure it's in the starting location where I want it to be, which is here. We haven't done this one yet. And then I'm gonna hit play. And what you'll find is it does the same loop each time, but a thousand times the speed. Another key thing about doing this is to use as few mouse clicks as possible. If you can use keyboard command and keyboard clicks, it works a lot faster when you go at a thousand times speed or even 200 or 300 times speed. So if you can avoid using mouse clicks, use as few as possible because that tends to take up more time and often changes depending on what you're doing. So you can see this is working well. If we wanna save more time, we can work on the macro recorder setup and I'll show you how to do it once this finishes the loop. So we'll do one more. Okay, things I can do here. I can take out the wait times. I can take out the mouse moves. In this case, if I wanna make it go faster, I'm gonna take out the mouse movements. I'll show you what that looks like. I'm gonna hit play. All this is gonna do is just go exactly to where I wanna click without actually moving the mouse. Let's see if Excel can handle this. A lot of times, if you go too fast, your computer won't be able to handle it and the software will freeze. So far, so good. And in fact, it is working. So in this case, you can take off the mouse movements and you'll have your actions go that much faster. So now all I have to do is sit back and wait for this to finish. I can do it, copy and paste it five more times. So I have 50 and then at 10 repeats, that's gonna get me to my 500. If I wanna do another 50, I can just do more repeats. This, this type of maneuver, this type of application can be used in Excel for a variety of things as long as you have the right spacing and the right key clicks. Now I'm using three characters here, 100, 101, 102, 103. If I end up going to four, if I get to a thousand, I then have to change the macro so that it spaces over to four characters as opposed to three. That's a big thing to keep in mind. It does the same thing every time. So if your data changes from say one to 10, to 100 to 1,000, the characters change and your, your spacing changes. So key to your success here is to set up the number of loops and repeats to accommodate for the number of characters you have in each one. In this case, I'm just doing three characters. In other words, I'm changing three things out in each cell. Now this will run for a while. Uh, no need to bore you with it. Maybe I'll fast forward it a little bit so you can see. All right, so that was a fast forwarded version. And as you can see over here, this is constantly moving back and forth. And I just moved the mouse by accident and you'll see what happened. I went and moved the mouse and it moved the cell over here and that's gonna interrupt my workflow. And I'm actually gonna have to start over and I'm gonna have to start here. So I'll delete that, go back here. It does help to periodically check on it to make sure it's working right in case something happens if someone touches your mouse or moves your keyboard. But as long as this stays the same, it doesn't get changed or touched, you can let this run ad infinity. As long as you have the right number of loops, start and stop points, and the number of repetitions that you need. So if you like this video, please click like, add comments, and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll be coming out with more videos and appreciate you watching this one. Thanks a lot.